Well, 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 well. Comfort. If you know you don't understand what I'm saying, then you can go. Who do you think you are in the first place? Huh? Who do you think you are? Okay, okay. Okay. Now, have I ever made such a request to you before? I can't come to your house, sir. And why? I'm a child of God. <laughs> and so? It's ungodly, sir. <laughs> ah, see you. A child of God. So it's ungodly to visit me. Hmm? I can visit you, sir. But not in your house. I can't come to your house. You. You, you can't come to my house. <laughs> what makes you different from the others anyway? Just look at yourself. Look at yourself. Well, if you know you can't come to my house, then we shall see on this campus. You can go. I said you can go. Leave my office! I came here to mess up. Eh? Okay, sir. I've heard you. 
Okay, sir. Okay. Bye-bye, okay, okay, sir. Okay, now well. Uh... I don't need anybody to tell me that I'm tired, do. But I'm stressed out. Ah. Mm. You're watching the fridge. Hello, comfort. What is it? We are sorry to disturb you. Please sit up. What's that? We only have a little discussion to meet with you. Sorry for waking. No problem. What is it? Mr. Marty said you were so rude to him in his office this morning. I think you need to apologize to him. Excuse me, for what? Anyway, that's by the way. Uh, comfort. A friend of ours will be marking a birthday party this weekend. And we would like you to attend the party with us. Party? Yes. Yes. Oh, are you not interested? I'm very sorry. You girls are talking to the wrong person. I thought you girls wanted to say something more important. Will you be able to attend the party? Or you have another appointment already? I have to be with my parents this weekend and my mom will be coming to pick me. So go and stop breastfeeding. Mom is pet. My dear, I need you to. I need to see. Comfort. We have been watching you for quite some time. You don't need to be a lone ranger. Remember, all work and no play needs comfort and all good. Mommy's apron. <laughs> Thank you. But I was told that needles without thread get lost easily. Oh, God. Who told you that? My mom. Baby girl, you better wake up. So many needles on this campus have lost their thread. And that is why such needles get lost easily. Are you talking to me? But Rosie, come to think of it. Are you not from a Christian home? And you told me that your father is an ordained pastor. And so? Rosalind, you are losing your thread. And if you're not careful, you will get lost. Baby guy! Great philosopher! <laughs> and you okay. Yes. Matthew chapter 7 verse 1 says, Thou shalt not judge. Leave me alone. I know what I'm doing. This is campus life. It is a free world, baby. Honey, you are welcome. Yes, sir. Thank you. Princess, princess. Daddy, I couldn't wait to see you. You are welcome. Thank you, Daddy. Welcome. How is your campus? Campus is fine. School is fine, Daddy. Your mommy told me that you sent for her. Yes. Hope there's no problem. No, Daddy, there's no problem. I just wanted to be with you this weekend. That's very good. Just go inside. Oh, I could have brought her the market to fix up this house. Mommy, yeah. please, I'm hungry. I need to eat.
Princess, what do you think about those ladies? Mommy, I think those ladies have joined themselves with some girls on campus who follow men around. And you said that uh, one of them is a pastor child? Yes. The child of a Pentecostal pastor. Mommy, she wears clothes on campus she wouldn't wear at home. You said they are two? Yes, Mommy. Kate. Kate too is from a Christian home. The child of a deacon. Mm. Their lifestyle and conversation in the hostel reveals their backsliding state. Mm. Many times they've invited me to go with them to parties, but I bluntly refuse them. Mm. But mommy, what do you think I should do? Fine, my daughter. You have to be very careful with them. Mm. Because evil communication corrupts a good manner. Mm? Nowadays, Coming from a Christian home is not a guarantee of personal encounter with Jesus. Yes, you are right. The word of God says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 from verse 40 to 16. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with lawlessness? What communion has light with darkness? This is the question you should always ask yourself, okay? That is the word of God for you, my daughter. Thank you, Daddy. But I will really need the wisdom of God because these girls are my roommates in the same hostel. Hmm. We shall continue to pray for you. And anytime you need our advice or object prayer, just call me or your dad or phone. Yes, okay. Yes, and there is another idea. You can't fight the battle alone over there. Daddy, I know. I know. Because the pressure over there on campus is so much. You will need the assistance and the covering of a strong Christian fellowship in your campus. Yes, Daddy. I'm already in one, sir. Okay. Then the, the fervent, the things of God in their midst. Yeah, as time goes on, you'll be fitting to God's plan for your life in that campus. Yes, the fellowship will be a kind of coverage for you that staying alone. It has really been of help to many children of God or campus. Through it, they discover and fulfill the counsel of God for their lives. Hmm? Yes. And the Lord will see you through. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Paul. Elizabeth! Yes, Ma! Please breathe the other stew. Okay, Ma. last weekend. No. And what do you want to do to that? You're asking me. I'm going to meet him in his house tonight and I'm going to deal with him. I trust you. Hello girls. Hey. How are you doing? Angelie baby. Angelolo. How are you getting? You're looking good. How are you? Ah, what's up? Levels. Many guys are looking bad as well. Oh, you're welcome. Home. I learned you went home. So I is mom and dad. Yeah, all fine. Thank you. Oh. Hmm. I hope by now you must have gotten a lovely reply to my request. Which request? Okay. Angela. Yes, dear. I have already told you that I cannot be a part of you. Mm -hmm. I am on this campus for a purpose. For your information, I am not alone. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That's wonderful. Oh. So you don't belong to a club on this campus. I beg again, just me, Jerry. 
Hmm? May I know that club? Hmm? I would actually love to know some of your members. Comfort. Relax. We are only trying to advise you. You see, you can't stay alone on this campus. You need people like us to move on with. Come on, baby. Girl. Wake up. Wake up. Eh? Ah. Comfort. Ah. Wake up, man. You have to wake up from your slumber. You've been sleeping for long, girl. You have to wake up. Put it do yourself now. Mm. Baby girl. Hmm. Having a man in your life in this campus is not a big deal. That's just it. You should count yourself lucky among others to be recognized and admired by Mr. Martin. Mm -hmm. Abio, she does not even know what she's missing. Honestly speaking, you don't know what you are missing. My dearest friend, mm -hmm. that guy loves you very much. You know what? Mm -hmm. If only you know how to play your games very well, you will definitely enjoy him. Mm -hmm. I'll show you that. You will definitely enjoy that guy. Mm -hmm. Let me not speak in mm -hmm. your mind. Yes. Angela, how you doing? Please excuse me and can you get off my way? Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> you don't wish like that. Hey, so you're sending me out or you're driving me off your bed because I just gave you a friendly advice. It's not your fault. Angela, do you know what? I'm not surprised at you at all. I only wonder at your friends who come from Christian homes. Uh -huh. I've not Are you talking you. to us? Hey, see me. I beg. I beg go party house. I'll go see you. is here. of love from him. He said you should keep it as part of your pocket money. What's the meaning of this? Are you luring me? Please keep this to yourself or take it back to him. I have enough for my needs and besides, God is my source. You are foolish! Baby girl, why are you so thick-headed? When you are in Rome, you live like a romance. Come on, girl. I want you to know there's no amount to have for you. There can be sufficient for you as a student on this campus. <laughs> Ladies, you miss it. My Bible teaches me that I should not follow the multitude to do evil. If I am in Rome, I will still maintain my citizenship. I know where to go when I'm in need. I don't need his offer. Can you say that before him? Of course, why not? Did I request for it? It's alright. I will return it. Better. <clears throat> but I'm warning you, baby girl. You don't step on lecturer's toes on this campus. And you don't even have the guts to fight Mr. Martins. 
But I'm not fighting him. Then accept his offer. Never. What do you mean? You mean I should go to his house to visit him and sleep there? You mean I should throw away my Christian profession into the garbage bin and be a girlfriend to a lecturer? Do you know what? I can't stop being baffled why friends from Christian homes keep advising me to do ignoble things. Did it? Hey, That's enough. Don't go to that direction at all. It's okay. Huh? I will return it. Yes, come in. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, afternoon. Sit down. Thank you, sir. I'm okay like this. <sighs> anyway, comfort. Why didn't you pick my call? Sir, it was already a missed call when I saw it. And when you eventually saw it? I didn't know it was your number, sir. Then how did you know that my call was a missed call? I'm sorry, sir. <sighs> Apology accepted. Did your friend relate my message to you? Which message, sir? The money, the special message and this... Uh... Yes, they did, but I returned them back to you. <laughs> and I take that as an insult. You returning my money back to me? Look, Comfort. I want you to know that I'm interested in you. And I want you to be my girl. Come on. Why don't you give it a second thought? Think about my proposal. Sir, there is nothing to think about. I have already told you that it cannot be possible. Why? Because I'm a child of God. Ah, and what has that got to do with this issue? Many things, sir. Others may be doing it, but I can't. Do you know who you are talking to? And do you realize that as a lecturer on this campus, I have the power to take whatever it is that I desire from you? And besides, I handle your most important course on this campus. God, please help me. This is a serious temptation. I don't desire to fail this course. I know, sir. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? I saw your missed call. Then go back and wait for the next call and make sure you don't miss it this time. Lizzie, you heard me. See what I mean? Those are needles that have lost their thread. Comfort. Whatever that statement means, the point is, you should count yourself lucky that I am interested in you. I mean, out of the so many other girls on this campus. Sir, I. Uh, Look, come forth. I know you are a decent girl. 
And that's why I'm interested in you. Come on, girl. Look, let me assure you. In this course, you have no problem at all. As long as you are ready to play along with me. Hmm? Come on. No. I can't do this. You can't do this? Yes, sir. I don't want to sin against God. Come on, stop thinking like a child. I'm a child! I am a child of God! And then you are too weak and light-hearted. There are many girls on campus who are Christians too, and they still play along. We don't have the same purpose, and we are not heading to the same destination, so we cannot think the same way. Do you realize that I handle your most important course on this campus? I may fail your course, but I want to make heaven. Another party. Alumni reunion night. I left there at Central Hall. Do you know the male musician they called? No. <laughs> How can you know? When you are locked up inside a religious prison. I've been hearing of Lemon X. I saw him this evening. I saw Randy Melon. Do you know her? No. She's a Nigerian from the Cross Rivers. The woman dances like Janet Jackson. Do you know? Hey. Yes. Are you not from a Christian home? Didn't you say that your dad is an ordained deacon? And that you're part of the choir back at home? And so? Kate, do you go to parties at home? Why have you allowed the pressures of this place to overwhelm you? You have never for once joined a Christian fellowship on campus. You don't even want anyone to know that you are a child of God. And that is why you are going deeper and deeper into sin. Stop it. Kate, do your godly parents know that you go around with lecturers and boys? I said that's all right! But Kate, you know that the Bible says that. I said not... that's the law! What's wrong with you? I'm going out with boys, so what? I'm sleeping in lecturer's house. What's your business with that? Are you my parents or you pay for my school? Hmm. Never. Never you talk to me like that again. Never. Calm oh, down. Kate. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. She talks as if she's my guardian. What's your business with my life? And where are you going? I'm going back to the hall. Comfort. What happened? Uh, it wasn't something so serious. I was just giving her a friendly counsel and she wasn't happy about it. Anyway, that's by the way. Comfort. You have an urgent message. Very, very urgent. Thanks. From where? It's very important, girl. Comfort. Please. Stay out of trouble on this campus. And don't create unnecessary problems for yourself. It's a friendly advice, girl. If you like, you could take it. If you like, don't. Please stop the riddles and talk straight. Mr. Martin said you embarrassed him again in his office this morning. And he demanded an apology from you urgently. 
That is not true. I did not embarrass him. He was trying to touch me right inside his office, and I refused. Was that my offense? Yes, it is. It's an offense. You flung off his hand, and there was no apology for that. <laughs> is that one not enough? You mean I should apologize for taking his hands off my body? Excuse me, is that how lecturers touch your bodies? Oh, God. <laughs> Here we come again. Talking like a guardian. What's your problem? Ah, exactly what Kate was saying. You talk to us all as if we are your siblings. Give yeah, me you take time, Sha. So I did not go wound you for this campus one day. All right. I'm so sorry. I'm very sorry. You better call it now and apologize. I'll do that tomorrow. No, you call it now. I don't have credit on my phone. Mm -hmm. If you get credit, be back. Call him now. <laughs> Take, use mine. That's his number. Call him now. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll be taking your cash home. Alright, I'll enjoy your Hello? Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. No, sir, it's not Rosalind, it's Comfort, sir. Comfort? Were you informed that I'm angry with you? Yes, sir. That's why I'm calling, sir. I did not have credit on my phone, and that's why I'm using Rosalind's phone. So I'm sorry if my actions offended you, sir. No, 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 no. I told them what you should do. What is that, sir? You have to come to my house and apologize. Your house? Yes. When you come to my house, I will accept your apology and forgive you. Simple. Comfort, are you still there? I am sorry, I cannot come to your house. Just like that. You end the conversation just like that. Please take your phone. phone. I beg, give me. You are on your own. Man, you need deliverance. Ah, I don't care for you, sir. I beg. Ah. Princess, how are you? Mommy, I'm fine. I'm fine, ma. I, I'm calling you for an urgent issue, mommy. Urgent issue? What really happened, Princess? Mommy, it's like there's a little problem here. That lecturer, Mr. Martins, is beginning to pose a threat to me. I need you to intensify your prayers for me. I need your fervent prayers. What actually happened, Princess? Mommy, huh? he has his eyes on me. And I have always refused him. So? I was expecting that. Mommy is beginning to victimize me. So? <sighs> Mommy, I need your prayers. I need you to intensify your prayers. Hmm. What about those friends of yours? Ha. <laughs> Mommy, they are not changing at all. Though. Okay, princess. We will continue to pray for you. Thank you, Mommy. I will tell you more about him when I come home. Mommy, bye bye. Bye. Be calm, dear. The Lord is in charge, okay?
What nonsense is this? Eh? What is this? Get out! Get out of my office! Get out! Get out! Get out! On its own. And it has its own rules of living in it. You cannot roll your boat against the current and move so fast. You have to move with the tide. Come on and move with the tide. Come, Come on, on and move with the tide. Come on and move with the tide. Come on. And move with the tide. Come on and move with the tide. Move with the tide. Move with the tide. Beggy, beggy. Hello, mommy. Good morning. Yes. God bless you, princess. Thank you, ma. How is daddy? How is everybody? Well, everyone is fine. Now, listen, princess. We have just finished praying for you. I had a terrible dream about you. A dream? Mommy, please tell me. No, it's not necessary. But the summary of it is that you must take your stand firmly on that campus. Do you understand me? Yes, Mom. Hear this. University campus is another kingdom entirely. It has its own social rules running in it. But you belong to another kingdom too. You are a citizen of a heavenly kingdom. You are guided by his constitution in the Bible. Yes, Mom. Hmm. You may be rowing your boat against the river tide. Mind you, there is your master beside the boat who will take you to the other side. Hmm? Yes, I understand, Mom. It is well with you. Your daddy would like to greet you. Hello, Princess. Hey, Daddy, good morning. Good morning, Princess. We have just finished praying for you now. And uh, it is well. Daniel was also in the University of Babylon. And he graduated uncorrupted. We leave that campus uncorrupted. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye bye, sir. Okay, bye. Right. I know what's that? My parents. It's 
say they just finished praying for you. Mm. Good for you. You have good parents. Okay. Come in. Hello! Erika baby! Erika baby, how you doing? I'm good. Uh -uh. Baby, you look... Mm. You can say that again, you know. <laughs> but wait, you messed up yesterday. How? You didn't pick my call. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. How was at Mr. Lydie's party? His wife had a fortunate birthday yesterday and it was the bomb. Me! <gasps> You need that to see the kind of people that came there yesterday. Oh God! <laughs> Baby, come on. You still should have come. You know I've been waiting for you here. All right. Tomorrow is another day. Uh, sometimes tomorrow never comes. Come on, don't say that. Yes, come in. Hey, hey, come back here. Come, come. Can I help you? Erica, baby. Please, you have to excuse me. Hmm? Let me attend to all right, sir. Tomorrow had better be a good day. Uh, not all the time, baby. Not all the time. <laughs> uh, yes, can I help you? Sir, I came in respect of my assignment, sir. Which assignment? 232, sir. Auditing and tax. Yes. Have the papers not been marked? Yes, sir, they have been marked, but to my surprise, I was given just two sheets of paper out of the four sheets I submitted. I answered all the six questions, and the answers to the last three questions were in the two sheets that were not given back to me. Look, my poor girl, what that simply means is that you only answered the first three questions, and you did not know the answer to the last three questions. And secondly, you submitted only two sheets of papers in your assignment, and I marked what I saw. Sir, that's not true. I submitted four sheets of paper containing all the six questions, and the papers were even stapled together. And, uh, what did you have? What was your score? Ten. Ten out of forty, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dear girl. That's the main CA, and you failed it just because you didn't answer all the questions. Simple. But sir, I answered all the questions and I submitted everything. Maybe the papers fell off or, or, or somebody removed them. And who removed it? I wouldn't know, sir. Sir, I wouldn't know. All right, sir, please, would you allow me to resubmit the answers to the last three questions? What? What did you just say? Where on earth have you ever had such a thing been done? Hmm? When all the answers have been known? Oh, my poor girl, I am so, so sorry. And that is the main assignment and uh, you have failed it. That's the main CA. It is very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. <laughs> uh. Sir, did you pull off the pages? What? What did you just say? Are you accusing me of removing the pages of the papers of your assignment? Me? Accusing me wrongly for your negligence and dullness? But sir, I submitted everything! Out. Get out. Get out of my office! Get out of my office, you fool! Get out! Get out of my office! Out! Nothing. 
nonsense. Just see. Wow. wow. Ha! Huh. Which cause was that? Mr. Martins. Auditing and tax. You fail it or he failed you? I think that man must have done it himself. I answered six questions on four sheets of paper. When I got back my mark scripts this morning, I was given just two. The last two sheets were no longer there. And he just marked the answers to the first three questions. And what did you get in the marked papers? Ten. Ten out of forty. That's bad. <laughs> he did it. Mr. Martins did it. But what is this man's problem? Why is he victimizing me? Am I the only girl on this campus? You should go out and get all other girls. I'm fed up of all this. Huh? Maybe you call him and beg him. You know we won't do against locking hands with any of these lecturers. But I didn't do anything, did I? Comfort. You have only been working against the tide on this campus. His request for you is a very simple one. Just call him and apologize. But I did apologize. I called him and I begged him here. But he told me to come to his house to apologize. There you go and beg him in his house. Simple. Comfort. That is just the truth. When you fail a major CA of a major course, it could lead to a failure of that course and a carryover. You need to flow with the tide on this campus. This action is out of necessity. Eh? Baby girl, I can't do this. I can't go to his house again. I have been there before and I know how he reacted towards me. You are too weak and frightened for nothing. The righteous is as bold as lion. That is it. I want to ask you girls one thing. Why are you talking like this? Because we have passed through this way before. You mean you have done all this before? Hello, princess. Hello, mommy. 
What is wrong with you? What is happening? Mommy, I have, I have some problems here. Problem? What happened? I'm, I'm, I'm finding it difficult to row against the river tide. <sighs> My dear, if you allow the tide to carry you to wherever it wills, it may convey you to where you never wanted. You must keep rowing against it until you get to where you personally choose. Hmm? Just, just be praying for me. We are all ready. Hello? Hello, princess? Hello? <laughs> Jesus, into your hand I commit my daughter. Lord, please have your way in our life. Direct her path, O oh God. Father, don't let her miss the way, O oh Lord. Father, take absolute control over her life. understand why I failed that assignment. You know you didn't answer all the questions. I did. Two sheets of paper were missing when my assignments were given back to me. Oh, well, you know. <clears throat> you understand that uh, uh, when someone is running against the wind, it blows back whatever you hold in your hands. You know, you understand? I don't understand. <clears throat> It's like this. You see, on the campus, things get a lot easier when you learn how to flow with the trend of things. I am a child of God. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. That is what I don't want to hear now. I don't want that. Are you ready to play along or you are still bent on fighting? Mr. Martins, what exactly do you want from me? Good. Good, good, good. Now, let me tell you. Out of all the girls on this campus, I discovered that you are a very decent girl. You don't mess around like the others. And that is why I have this special interest in you. I have this soft spot in my heart for you. And I want us to be friends. I want you to be my girl. Do you agree? Friends? Yes. Yes? Ha! Good! Good, good, good. Now you are talking, my girl. Now you are talking. That is good. But one more thing. What is it? Well, anything, anything. Ah, good, good, good. You are not going back to the campus tonight. A deal? Deal. Good, 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 good. Now you are talking. Good, 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 good. Baby, let me tell you something. Tonight is going to be a night to remember. Uh, baby, <laughs> tonight we're going to make this a night to remember. <laughs> good. Now, um, you know what? Something to eat. You know, something to eat before we, you know. <laughs> Draw that table closer. 
Definitely. 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 With all pleasure. I would like to take a shower. Oh. Before but, I eat. And then do I take you to the bathroom? You know. No, 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 not yet. And what is this? That's my Bible. I take it to wherever I go. And you brought it there along with you? Wherever I go. Even to the kitchen? Even to the bedroom. Please, I'm hungry. I want to eat. Um, uh, baby, you know, it's rather unfortunate that I don't have any cooked food at home. But if you don't mind uh, bread and tea? Bread and tea? Is that what you take often? Uh, no, 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 no. At times I eat at eateries, and at times I manage to cook. And at times some campus ladies come around to cook food for you in your kitchen. Well, sometimes yes. yes sometimes. I fear for you. You fear for me? Why did you say that? You can die any moment from now. I don't understand. Your beautiful land is left without a hedge. Your house is left without a fenced wall. And the doorway of your life is left open without a door. You are vulnerable to evil, danger, sorrow, incurable disease. Lifelong pain and death. You have not told me what exactly you are driving at. I have come tonight to share with you your pending sorrow, regret, and also probably your death. Take me to your bedroom. Uh, uh, please, hold it. Uh, we have to talk. About what? You said I can die any moment from now and that my life is vulnerable. Please sit down. Sit down and I explain what you mean. Mr. Martins, as you are now, you are no one's property. No one takes responsibility for your welfare and well being. I'm a man. And I'm old enough to take care of myself. <laughs> but you are open and unguided. And you're vulnerable to death. You are exposed and defenseless. Has it ever occurred to you that any of these ladies you have affairs with can plant sickness or death in your life? I, I don't think so. And what gives you so much confidence? Do you know them? No, not really. But they are campus female students. That is how much you know about them. You have never cared if any of these ladies carry generational costs. You have never cared if any one of them have a deadly disease which may never be manifested in those infected until sometimes later. You don't care if any one of them have been with ritualist men before coming to sleep with you on your bed. Or are you among those who think that some spiritual facts of life are fictional? You have never cared if any of these ladies you have conquered on your bed is half human, half ghost. 
you are less concerned if any of these ladies are demons from the forest or marine spirit who transforms to human at will. All you have ever cared about is the beauty. And the Bible says, beauty is deceitful. If you have ever slept with any of these ladies I mentioned, then you are a dead meat. Take me to your bedroom. I don't know. That is why I told you earlier that I have come here tonight to share with you in your pending sorrow and probably death. Because by the time you are through with me tonight, I will also be a partaker of your impending sorrow and imminent death. Take me to your bedroom. But why, why are you talking with so much assurance? Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe the Bible contains the word of God? Or you are among those who think that the Bible is just a literature work from the hands of man? I believe in the Bible and I believe it is sacred and I believe it is the word of God. Then take this and read Proverbs chapter 6 from verse 27 to 33. That is the New Living Translation. Can a man scoop a flame into his lap and not have his clothes catch on fire? Can he walk on hot coals and not blister his feet? So it is with a man who sleeps with another man's wife. He who embraces her will not go unpunished. Excuses might be found for a thief who steals because he is starving. But if he is caught, he must pay back seven times what he stole, even if he has to sell everything in his house. But the man who commits adultery is an outer fool, for he destroys himself. He will be wounded and disgraced. His shame will never be erased. His shame will never be erased. His shame will never be erased. You're taking fire into your bosom. You're walking on hot coals. You are living recklessly in adultery and fornication. And in essence, you are destroying your own soul. It is this. One day you will reap in seven folds wounds, dishonor, and reproach, which will never be wiped away. Give me back my Bible. Will 
you be able to bear all these consequences when all of this come upon you like a flood? Oh, God. You have hit me so hard. No one has ever spoken to me this way before. I'm stuck. I'm such a mess. What else? I don't even know what to say or even where to start. Oh God. You lay the foundation first before you start building. You start by accepting Jesus Christ. Who can forgive your sins and wash you from all unrighteousness? It will renew your life. It will make you whole again. It will make you a new creature. Oh God. Oh God. I guess you are right. Such a dirty, stinking, wretched, filthy person. So, so unclean. I've ruined so many ladies' lives on this campus. Or rather, they've ruined my life. Why has it taken place long before I got to know the truth? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. I need help. I need help. I need help. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God, will restore you. If you accept him as your Lord and Savior. Oh God, oh God. I'm ready. I will accept him. I'm ready. I will accept him. Please pray for me. Please pray for me. Please pray for me. Can you please kneel down? Let me lead you in prayer. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you into my life today. I accept you into my life today. That guy. Hey, trust me now. Kate! <laughs> Kate! And they come! Come on, yes! And they come! come. <laughs> hey, hey, you see this game? Wait! Hey! Come feed the bee. Miss S.U. You. you are welcome. How was Mr. Yeah. Mattis? Was it Mr. Mattis you went to see? Let us finish our prayers. Hmm. <clears throat> now that your prayers are over, hmm. Tell us the good news. Did you apologize to him? Yes. He has forgiven me. The fight is over. 
Hey! Interesting. Eh? <laughs> Mr. Martins, forgiving you. The fight is over. <laughs> Just like that. Hello. What are we saying here? Baby girl. So you mean you went to him and you talked about it just like that and he then said Oh, come feel, child of God, go in peace, the Lord is with you. <laughs> <laughs> come on baby girl, you're not talking to babies. <laughs> ah, ah. Hey. Ah. But is there anything impossible for the Lord to do? <laughs> <laughs> Not so. <laughs> it's just that going to Mr. Martin's house in the evening mm -hmm. and calling back just like that mm. without anything. Ah. It is like a dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go into lions there. Mm -hmm. I'm going What were you girls all expect? Come on! Baby girl, I want to ask a question and promise you answer us yes or no. Hmm? Ask your question. Very good, thank you girl. My dearest and lovely comfort, as a child of God, and I know you will not lie to us all in this house of assembly. Hmm? Now, girl, did Mr. Martins touch you at all? Hmm? Did he? Come on, baby girl, answer yes or no. Did Mr. Martins touch you at all? Yes. <laughs> I said so! <laughs> Did it I? <laughs> mm. I'm not yet done. Hold on, girls. Question number two. Hmm. My lovely friend, please don't lie to your friends. Eh? As you shall one day appear before the judgment throne of God. Hmm? Ask your question. <laughs> My dear friend, did Mr. Martins hold your hands at all? Did he? Did he hold your hands? Hmm? Yes. Hey! Give me five, give me five, give me five. Hey! Ah, interesting. The comfort has come to comfort me. I'm not done, girls. Relax. Hey, one more question. No, 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 no. No more question. Uh -uh. We've gotten the answer to the rest questions. Uh -huh. Nobody's a fool here, girls. Mr. Martins touched her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Martins held her hand. Yes, yes. girls. Nobody's a fool here. Abio. We've got the message. Two plus two equals two. Twenty two. The good news is that you are welcome on board. Highly welcome. Yes, so that was just the starting point. We've told you it is the best option to move in the direction of the wind. Yes. You are welcome. You all are mistaken. You all missed the point. You all may be moving in the direction of the corrupt and ungodly wind on this campus. I am determined to run against the wind. Mm. It was not what all you all thought. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. I'm already in the hostel, sir. Comfort. I want to thank you for all you did for me this evening. 
No one had ever opened my eyes to all those truths. God really used your words to bring me back to my senses. Thank you. All glory to God, sir. I am particularly grateful for the salvation of Jesus Christ I received through you this evening. I just wonder why it took me so long to hear all this truth. I guess God must have seen that I had tarried too long in the dark. That was why he made you to come forth into my life, to my home. You're welcome, sir. Uh, please, comfort. Can I see you tomorrow in my office? I have some important things to discuss with you urgently. All right, sir. When should I come, sir? Um, let's make it 11 a.m. At least by then, I would have finished my first lectures. Thank you. Please, greetings to your friends. Once again, thank you. Good night. Good night, sir. What? Yeah? I, I can't just believe what I just heard. First time after three years, I miss Oiko. I miss my kids. But why hasn't anybody spoken to me the way that lady did? I've done to my wife? How do I warm myself back into her heart? take me back. I've wasted so much of my own money on ladies that I never knew where they came from. Perfect. I might have been poisoned by any one of them or entered into various unknown covenants 
or even shared in strange, unknown causes that I never knew where they came from. But if not for the mercy of God, if not for the mercy of God that prevailed and saved me, God, I thank you. I'm very sorry, Lord. I'm very sorry for all the wrongs I've done. I'm really, really sorry. Enter this campus as a fervent child of God, dedicated in the things of God. <clears throat> but I so compromised my faith and blew up my good testimonies. I resisted for a while and began. To run against the fearsome, sinful wind of this campus. Briefly, for some moment, I later gave up my resistance <laughs> and began to move in the direction <laughs> of the prevailing sinful indulgence. Ah! I've sinned against my God and my godly parents <laughs> who are the ministers of the gospel. Ah. My life is a mess. A terrible mess. Ah. I've generated with boys. I have traveled to many places to attend parties. <laughs> I've given myself to various lustful pleasures. Rosie. <laughs> Godly parents. Ah. I'm ashamed of myself. <clears throat> Coffee. I've dipped my hands in many of holy things. Ah. <laughs> I need God's mercy and forgiveness. <laughs> Messed up my life. I've come down. It's okay. It's alright. We'll pray together now. Comfort. Can you believe me? I've been on three different lecturers' bed. I've gone to meet two in hotel rooms. Not to talk of going out with boys. 
the way a truly repentant child he will forgive you it's okay it's okay Her phone keeps ringing and she keeps cutting the call. And now it's ringing again. Oye! Oye, come! This phone has been ringing. I could see you have been cutting it off. Mama. Is an unwanted friend I don't want to talk with. you come, if you close your eyes against the passing of an enemy, you won't know when a true friend will pass you. I know this one. He's an unwanted person. I don't want to talk to him. Kola! Lange! Will you come, please, pick this call. Please. Hello? Who is on the line, please? Uh, 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 Mama, it's me. Uh, Mayokun. Mayokun Martins. Baba Lady. You are... Hold, hold on for her. Oh, you come. Somebody wants to speak with you. Mama, I've told you. I don't want to talk to him. Okay. Tell him yourself. No, you tell him! I've told you not to pick this call. Uh, you, you can call her later. She's a bit busy now. Uh, Mama, I overheard her saying that she doesn't want to talk to me. But please, uh, help me to tell her that she's right to be angry with me. Uh, I'm sorry for all I've done, Mama. Please, uh, help me to tell Daddy and the children that they should please forgive me for God's sake. I know I've sinned. But they should please forgive me. Uh, please. I have met the Lord Jesus Christ. He has taught my heart and I'm now a changed person. Listen, my uncle. This is not an issue to be discussed on the phone. I know, Mama. Thank you. But please, help me to beg her that she should please, for God's sake, forgive me. You have to come and beg her and your children. Okay? Bye. Thank you. Will you come? He said... Uh... No, 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 Mama. I've said it. I don't want to talk to him. Huh? Like Jay? Come out, come out, come out. Let's go. Where are your bags? It's in the car. Come on, let's go. Um, I don't want to talk to a priest like him.
oh yeah, it's me. Sorry, honey, I'm sorry. I know I've wronged you in the past, but please... Oh, no, 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 just hold it. If you know you don't have a meaningful thing to say, I will cut off this call in 10 seconds. I'm very, very busy here, okay? Uh, please, honey, listen, listen to me, please. I, uh, uh, someone sent me to you. Who sent you to me? He's, uh, he's, he said, he said I should go to you and ask for your forgiveness. He said you are a great woman, a queen that must not be hurt. He said any time I see you that I should kneel and hold your feet for forgiveness. He said I should... Mr. Martins, who is the person? He's, uh, he's Jesus Christ. What? Jesus Christ? Yes. I met with him yesterday night. And he touched my heart and opened my eyes. Can you console me? My sweetheart. I'm sorry for all the wrongs I've done to you and the children. And I want you to please, for God's sake, forgive Hello. me. Hello! Will you shut up and get out of my office? Out, 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 out! I am talking to my wife. Out, just get out, get out! Nonsense. Who was that? Oh, sorry, honey, please. It's just one of those students. All right. We shall talk it over at my place this evening. Oh, that's good. Uh, that's good. Oh, thank you. Uh, what time? What time would that be? 7 p.m. Oh, oh that would be good. That, that's good. Uh, we shall see then. Uh, oh, uh, please, oh, you can. Uh, sweetheart, I'm very grateful. Okay. Bye. Yes, come in. Ah, comfort. You are welcome. <laughs> ah, yeah, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Ah, you are very, very welcome. Ah, comfort, you can't believe it. First, let me thank you for what you did yesterday night. I really, really appreciate it. And you believe not that right from yesterday night, the Lord has started to build my home and rearrange my life. Oh. In fact, I just finished speaking with my wife just now. Wow, how is she doing? Well, we thank God. I want to thank God for our life and I believe that the Lord is going to touch our heart. In fact, we have an appointment this evening. And I want you to please pray along with me that the Lord will grant me favor in her sight and she will completely forgive me. No problem, sir. I believe the Lord will complete what he has started in your life. Thank sir, God. do you know what? I shared your salvation testimony with my friends and they were really excited for you. Well, we thank God for that. Let me tell you something. I have this belief that the Lord deliberately brought you into this campus to bring me to Jesus Christ. And I want to thank you for it. No problem, sir. Sir, I have a lecture now. I have to go back to class. That's good, that's good. Ah, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. No. Comfort. Uh, I'm sorry for all the inconveniences I've caused you. I'm sorry for all of them. You can have this. You can see you have 15 on that paper. You see, I have learned that uh, it pays for one to run one's race against the prevailing licentious wind of the campus. And it also pays to stick to one's destination. Thank you very much, sir. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Just thank God. Who is that? Oh, 
sent his wife packing and abandoned those two innocent children for the past three years. So, where has he run back to? I'm sorry, sir. I know I've messed up and disappointed, but please don't cast me away. No. Go back to all those thin-legged and long-legged ladies of your campus. Leave my daughter alone. Uh, Understand? Please, sir. Please. I'm very sorry. Please. Forgive me. The hen has come back to roost, Daddy. There is no place for roaming hen to roost here. You must go back. Please. Don't cast me away. I promise not to disappoint you again. Please. For God's sake. Help me to beg that. He's in a very bad mood now. Maybe you have to come back some other time. No, 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 no. I love my wife and my children. on your feet. That's your wife. Hurt you back, but please, for God's sake, forgive me. Will you come see me, Olami? My sweetheart, please forgive me. I've missed you. All right. Thanks for coming back. Make sure you love your wife more than before. I will, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Where are the children? Oh. Hola, Lige. Yes, Children, your daddy is back now, in full force. I'm very sorry for everything. Children, go to your daddy now. Please, can I ask you for a favor? Can I take them out for and lunch tomorrow? It's okay by us. We can take them out for lunch tomorrow. 
but make sure you don't take them far. And there's a, an hotel restaurant, just about 10 minutes drive from here. So take them there. Thank you very much, sir. Sit out. Can I ask you out for lunch? It's a pleasure. <laughs>
finished. What happened? Rosie, what happened? <sighs> Maybe girl. I've messed up my life. <sighs> Though I've repented him his sorrowful tears. And I've made up my mind to henceforth work with God. <sighs> Yet, my numerous sin have caught up with me. Oh, Rosie, what happened? Talk to me. The doctor said I've been affected with a very dangerous sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> So, asked me, who are my boyfriends? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> he said, he will keep me on bed okay. for medications and further diagnosis and blood okay. tests. It's okay. I've messed up my life. Oh, oh God. Calm down now. Please calm down. You'll be all right, okay? You'll be fine. <sighs> ah, my second semester exams begins in two days. Comfort. Here am I on hospital bed. Both him is okay. Rosie, you know you can still go and write your papers from here. The doctor said I can't step out from here. All right, Rosalind, how are you feeling now? How's your body? My mouth is dry. I feel dizzy. Sorry. I can't even stand much on my leg. I feel weak. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've come back to you. Have mercy on me. Calm down. Rosalind, calm down. Calm down. But, Rosalind, did the doctor tell you the name of the disease? No. But he said it is not HIV. But I don't like the way I'm feeling. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, Rosalind. Ah! Jesus. Have mercy on me. Have mercy. Have mercy on me. Have mercy. Oh, have mercy on me. Five times yesterday, and it all gave me an engaged sound. You know what? My wife was here yesterday, and she really, really wanted to see oh you my and greet God, you. God, I missed her again. <laughs> I just finished my last paper yesterday, and I had to rush down to check Rosalind in the hospital. Oh, how is she now? Oh, good morning, good morning. How is she now? Is she getting uh, any better? She's getting better. It's just that she was depressed that she couldn't write her exams. Uh -oh. And you know, there's nothing anybody could do about that. Uh -oh. She couldn't even sit down to write anything. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's an automatic repeat of the whole session. She has been crying. She has been sad throughout. Uh -oh. You know what? Yes, uh, why don't you come over to our house and pay us a visit before you go on your long vacation? Ouch. I will try. And you must. You must try. Rosalie, I need to have been. 
been transferred from that hospital to this place again. Baby girl. Yes. I was referred here. The fourth hospital in about six months. Why are they all throwing me about like a kitchen napping? Why? Why? What's Rosalie? What did they say? Why were you referred here? My mom just left. She left weeping. The doctor said the STD has developed into a complicated infection which could lead to cervical cancer and he said it is so deadly no we refuse death over your life in Jesus' name. Rosalie, you will not die. Amen. Amen. Baby girl. I agree with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Rosalie, God will heal you. God will heal you. Okay? I will be your papers. My papers have been fine. They've been fine. I have just clean up and then I'll be through with through it 300 level. But that's just by the way. Hmm. I've wasted a whole academic session in hospitals hmm. because I discarded the ways of God. I chose to walk in my own ways. But was it? The Lord has chosen to preserve your life. In my agony of heart and total regret for my lustful ways of life on campus, I opened the Bible this morning that the Lord might speak to me. But the passage I opened to frighten me and make me cry even more. Which passage is that? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. I know that passage very well. It has a lot of promises in it. I read the old chapter until I got to verse 58 and 59. And I could go no further. If you do not carefully observe all the words of this law that are written in this book, that you may fear this glorious and awesome name, the Lord your God, then the Lord will bring upon you and your descendants extraordinary plagues, great and prolonged plagues, and serious and prolonged sicknesses. When I read the passage and I got to those verses this morning, I knew the Lord was telling me why I am in this situation. Other children of God might be passing through a test of faith. But my is due to flagrant disobedience to his word. I threw his fear away on campus and I joined myself to a group of campus babes. I messed up my life. And as a child of God, I did not fear his glorious and awesome name. <laughs> that is why he has brought upon me a serious and prolonged sickness. <laughs> but 
but he is merciful and gracious. Mm -hmm. He will be merciful unto me because I have come back to him. <sighs> Manager of a rapidly expanding company in Lagos. That is beautiful. You're going to see beautiful. tomorrow, right? That is beautiful. <laughs> oh, who am I seeing? I do, I am. I do, I am. Go. Auntie, you've not forgotten that. How can I forget? You know what? I dig my own Ajuaya in Bakasi Peninsula. On the high sea? Yes. It was a bold adventure. <laughs> I was the only youth copper who chose to go and serve them. And it was so exciting, it was so beautiful and... Mm. Wow! <laughs> I'm telling God that she came back to the mainland. Okay. Otherwise, she would have gotten herself stuck there uh -huh. and her adventure mind and then went on her way. No, 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 no! I'm telling you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm so glad to see you, people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how is the camp life? Uh, you know. It has been very wonderful, so exciting. I really enjoyed myself. <laughs> cool. Will she be around for your graduation ceremony? She won't be able to make it. It will be too much for her. I called her before leaving Eula and she told me she's trying to seek readmission. Actually, she called me and told me that she'll be seeking a readmission back into the campus. Uncle, all over again? Yes. From 100 level again. Hi. That strange sickness held her for two years. That's bad. But the most important thing is that she's still alive. And I still believe God can do something great in her. Yes. That's true. That's true. That's true. And uh, comfort. Okay. When are we going to eat uh, rice and uh, turkey? Hmm? <laughs> Uncle, that will be tomorrow now. <laughs> no, you didn't get it. What my husband is trying to say is this. When we go Larry come and carry you to his house. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. <laughs> that will be after youth service. We are thinking about, that will be about six months time. And, you know, preparations have begun. I can't wait. <laughs> then... I humbly apply to be among those that will sit on that table on that day. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. You have to be there. Yeah. <laughs> 